Faith can move mountain. Radio Maria 91.3 FM. The voice of Good morning, Abuja. It's your girl name. Okay, maybe I'm not your girl right now, but I'll be your girl soon. So just stay tuned. It's another Saturday and the sun is out and Child Safe Space is live at Radio Maria 91.3 FM, bringing you another really good topic, another very interesting topic for us to discuss. The voice of truth and i have a couple of beautiful individuals in the studio with me lending their voices to this truth that i want to discuss and they are chinazo vestal grace Vassari, joy dawn I'm Chama. so yeah those are our co-hosts i would say and while we're going to be discussing child abuse child abuse you know we say that this place is child safe space where we discuss children and we discuss matters that concern children so and this is a very pertinent topic that needs to be addressed child abuse there are several activities that you might be engaging in that you might not see it as child abuse but we're going to be addressing those things and it's to enlighten us in how best to to attend to our children to interact with our children to communicate with our children in order to make sure that they feel heard, they feel listened to, and they feel involved in our in their lives and in our lives. Stay tuned, we'll go on a little break. Hi, welcome back, welcome back. It's the Child Safe Space, and we are talking about child abuse. We're talking about child abuse today. So um, I will just, we'll just delve briefly into what child abuse is. Grace, please. Give us an idea. What what do you see? What do what what do you think is child abuse? Okay. Thank you. So child abuse is broad, like it's a lot of things. Something that may seem like uh, not an abuse for you can be abuse for me. Okay, you know, um, when we talk about child abuse, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, um, sexual abuse. But then that's that's the one like too far, too far. Yes. Okay. Neglecting your child is an abuse. Yes. But, okay, not making the child feel that welcome, that they not with feelings of them. It's child abuse. So, and this child abuse, talking about child abuse, is not just from the parents, the environment, maybe the teachers, you and I, yeah. anybody can can be a, a perpetrator of this uh, abuse you're talking about, okay? So, it's brought for me. Jamzi. <laughs> I'm <laughs> alive. Yes, you are. I'm live. I'm live. So, can you expatiate more on um, this topic, child abuse? This is child abuse. Uh, it's more of like any situation that would make that would be like that can hurt. You know, it could be emotional, it could be physical. You understand? It could be sexual, and first, it's a form of an abuse. You understand? So when you talk about abuse now, really, it affects. The psychology, I get it now, of the abused. Do you get it now? But most of the time, our society feels that they don't even bring in um, the victim. How do I put it now? They focus on the victim and leave the perpetrator outside, which is very wrong. So most of the time, when you talk about abuse, you have to bring in that mindset that, let's say, um, I mean, that was raped by John. You have to bring in John in this scene that John raped Amina, not just. Um, I mean, that was great. And you see, that's the environment and the situation we find ourselves in. So abuse is a very broad and fact. We need to handle it and handle it too well, you know? Yeah, Chama said something. You you neglect the perpetrator and focus on the victim. Yeah. And she gave an example. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that, and that's the reason why when a child is abused, they are not able to talk about it. They don't feel comfortable because what you're going to hear, what did you hear? What, what were you doing? What, where were you? Nobody is, no, not nobody, at least we are focusing on yeah. the future, but some persons leave that question of who did this and, and they're like focusing on the child that is abused. Yeah. So I noted something you said. You said that the topic of child abuse is broad. Yeah. So, and because you, you mentioned neglect, you mentioned emotional, you mentioned sexual, you, mes- you mentioned psychological. So I like us to physical, to yeah, physical, yeah, physical, yeah, physical abuse. So these are these are different areas that the child can be abused from. So um, you um, I would like us to delve into them one by one because it's a broad, 
so someone might not be someone might not be sexually abusing a child and they think they're in the, and they're in the clear, but they don't know that maybe by conking a child's head for nothing or by ignoring a child when a child is excited to show you their report card like all those things also put a mark on the child so i'd like us to delve into different types of child abuse so we have um physical abuse like i said sexual abuse emotional abuse neglect and psychological so please um yeah um i also like to talk about um the aspect of like the one that is most common that people don't even realize that is a is an abuse the one our parents caused to us themselves which is emotional you it will make you lose your self-worth and and everything about you you get now you're growing up in an environment in fact you're growing up because they say um they, they say like they say um charity begins at home or the way your character is begins at home is it isn't it the way you you are begins at home okay then now talking about our parents the way our parents um does this to us and they don't realize it most times um when our parents are talking to us or when we do, do something wrong our parents end up um saying some harsh words to us like you are good for nothing you are this and that and when they keep on repeating those words every day to that child i think the the child end up feeling like I don't think I'm 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 actually anything. I th I think uh, my dad is right. I think my mom is right. And then they they come up to the, the to the society. They come outside. Now depending on that on that words that they've been hearing from home and not having confidence outside. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like they have a they have they have a, 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 a they have low self esteem, not being able to talk uh, among peers and all of that and. It really affects them a lot. I think that's the emotional abuse. Right? Yeah, emotional yes, abuse. yes, yes. Yeah, that's emotional. And it's, it's very common, actually. Like it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. And then when you do, when you just do a, a little thing like you just end up beating you, they beat you every day. Like no, I, I, that beating part, I think it depends on what the child has done. But I think based on what you have said, yeah. you basically are talking about the emotional abuse. I think all of us have such experiences, oh, and. That kind of abuse leads to low self-esteem. Yeah. It demoralizes the child like yes. very like it brings you down entirely to to the way you how do I even explain? It just brings you down see, entirely. You see, you see, when it comes to abuse, you see emotional abuse is very critical because someone might be abused physically. And let's say you have the scars on your skin yeah. and then you know, in time it gets to be huge, but the scars are there. But you think emotional abuse is very dangerous. It takes time That's to write. Some people say they prefer, I prefer you beat me than use words. Yeah. Me. Do you understand? Yeah. Don't tell me stupid. It's better you slap me. I know that trauma slaps me. Oh, that oh. trauma telling me. But the truth is, yes. it stinks. Okay, okay let's just say, it's okay. let's just say, for example, now, and then you always tell this child, you're good for nothing. You can res you, you will never resort to anything in your yes. life. Yeah. Just look at you. Eh, what, what, what's, what's the meaning of this? Like, the you can, out there, okay, talking. and then let the child goes out there, and then they call, maybe, uh, let's just say, for example, you're in the classroom, and then they call you out to, like, say, let's just say, say something, or make a presentation or something. You, feel, you just feel, you feel demoralized, yeah. like, you feel this emotional damage, you feel little, you feel little of yourself. The one crazy thing about this uh, emotional abuse is that we grow as adults and and it becomes part of us before yeah. you leave it is difficult yeah. they're telling you you're not beautiful now when you grow up as a girl you're looking for validations as oh, a, you yeah there's somebody to validate you like yeah. as a girl you want to dress when you don't have money that's where you're laughing at because you want someone to tell you <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't agree it's about that yeah. yeah so still on the topic of child abuse so we're talking about child abuse but who is a child first of all mm. who is a child so the google definition is a human being that is between birth stages between birth and puberty why to be honest i think it goes beyond that um i cannot i cannot call a 16 year old a child an adult i mean see person person yeah i'm still a child it's not it's not just a child children that goes they go through all these yeah exactly adults go through abuses even in marriage relationship and all of that any 
like in all aspects of life. I'm a child. Understand. Because there are some things that maybe I experienced as a child that has not still left my life. Yes, that. Yeah. How do you explain you remember what happened to you when you were four years old? That's because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's so serious. Yeah. So, because before, I would even forget something. It's a damage. It's a damage. It's a damage. So, but then it starts from when we say they are still little. Maybe when they can't make decisions for their that's what we're classifying them as. Mm, but as much as we are referring ourselves as children, but yet I still feel like um, on this show, we are still focusing <laughs> on um, between that, that between a day old to let's say 16 or before 18 years old. Yeah. I, think that should I don't be think that. you know what you're saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Me, I don't know about you, okay. but me. Like some of those um things she was listening as emotional abuse that yeah. she was listening yeah. Me, I even go through, I went through, and sometimes I still try to I still think about it and I, it still helps and um, kills myself. You know, sometimes yeah. so, sometimes so, sometimes you children. Children. you know, sometimes you like it or not. <laughs> That's why your parents, your mom will still ask you after you give it. Thank birth. you. Don't use this on your child. Don't use are you not a child? Even to you now, sir. What are you doing on your skin? Why is your body like this? Don't your mother you know, ask you? You know, you know, you know, you know, when I was growing up, I actually uh, went through similar stuff, something like that. I actually went through something like that, and to the extent that I even had a, a diary that I write, that I write everything that happens to me. Mm. I did that in body house. Man. Yeah, I write, yeah, I, I write, I, I write down everything. Like there's a look of regret in your face. <laughs> yeah, 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 like es especially my auntie. There, so there are some things that because because um, because in right through my childhood, my my dad usually ha say harsh things to me. So I I I grew up not liking him. Mm. Yeah. I grew up not liking him at all. Like it was when I even matured like this that I, then I experienced a lot of things. What was going on outside there? That, that was when I, I learned to forget about those so things. Like to forget, no, to I forgive. learned no, yeah, I learned to forgive him, but yeah. I never forgot what happened to me. In then, the then simply because, then simply what? because of what was happening in the house yeah. and my auntie was seeing them when I went to visit her. Like you know, when she was seeing those things, uh, since her dad can do this to her, me too, I can do it to her as well. Do you understand? Yes, since her parents yes. can do this to her, she, her, yes. she might herself no, she can do it to me. To the she started, she started yeah. doing those things to me as well. But I couldn't I couldn't say it to anyone because uh, well, how did they say to my dad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the anger? What? The anger is still there. What how can her, I say to my dad? What her father did, her auntie took over because if your parents can do it, now look at our children. Yes. What we do to them, they will they will be with you forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. They will go out. Your child becomes somebody's wife. And the husband is maltreating her. You see it as a normal thing now that, uh, yeah, my dad was doing it, my mom was doing it. Your child goes so... to a boarding school and they are beating your child and the child is quiet. Yeah. Because yeah. at home, that is what they are used to. That's what they are used to. So and the salient points to... are being laid here. Yeah. Salient points are being dropped here. Like, it's getting really, really hot right now. So we'll just go on a break, like, you know, to calm down. And we'll get back here to come and continue. So please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, welcome back. So it's still the shepherd, sorry, the <laughs> child safe space on the topic of child abuse right here on Radio Maria. So we have a very wonderful guest here. She's a lawyer, a wholeness coach, a gender advocate. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. We're glad to have you welcome, with us. Man. And we can't wait to hear what you have to say on this very, very broad and important topic that we are addressing. Thank so, you so much for having me, Tampana. Okay. Thank you. So we, before we left, we were talking about the various types of abuse and mm. what could cause it. But when I was going through this child abuse thing, I saw neglect as a source, as an example of child abuse. Mm. But I thought that what if neglect is the heart, the start, the beginning point of child abuse? Because when a child is neglected, mm. it exposes the child to other forms of abuse. Even if the parents do not inflict that abuse, mm. it can be gotten from outside. Mm. And when a child is neglected, the child cannot communicate with parents to mm. explain what's going on. Yeah, right. So I would like you to, mm. you know, expatiate more on that. Yes, so absolutely. Neglect is a very fundamental factor of abuse in homes. And this is because parents have actually mixed it up. A typical parent takes care of their child, sends them to school, 
give them good food, clothe them, but neglect the actual parental role of love, care, and attention. Yes. So at, at the end of the day, a typical African parent will tell you, I provide for you, I go to work in the morning, I come back late, you these children, you're so stubborn, you don't listen. So at that way, they create a very wide margin between having a good and healthy relationship with that child, and the child begins to feel abandoned. Yeah. And before you know it, they even confide in outsiders who tell them, oh, don't worry, you know, mommy is busy. Um, let me teach you how, how to talk. Let me teach you how when your breast is coming out, this is what you feel. And that's how the sexual abuse part will begin to start. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I go out to speak about child abuse and abuse in general, I always talk about the role of parents, how they have really, really neglected their primary role of taking care, nurturing their children to healthy adults, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the typical African parents who thinks providing for their basic needs is Work care. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really, really salient point. And then I would like to throw more light on that. When a child is neglected, mm. when they are being bullied in school, mm. who can they tell? Mm. Nobody. And they suffer. And that's an example of physical abuse. We have emotional abuse. We have people insulting their, your children outside, telling them that they won't amount to nothing. And you think that when you have provided, well, that as long as you have given them good clothes, once they wear those good clothes, they'll feel good. But when, when you are not edifying them, when you are not making them feel good about themselves, so that nurture, that love, that affection, that validation coming from you. And people are outside telling them, you're ugly. Oh, you think your clothes is fine. Let me tell you, um, potato sack look better on, on me than, than your clothes look on you. you. That type of... Nah, but, I, <laughs> but, but seriously, but seriously talking about bullying, even parents, you know, contribute to bullying because, you know, when that child goes home to tell the mother or the father that this is what I was told in school, some parents will tell the child, don't mind them, ignore them, they are jealous of you. So they don't address the issue. Yeah. So there's a silence culture. And, you know, mm, and then when you talked silence. about um, 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 emotional abuse, they, and it's not only outside. I was told right inside the house where I lived that I would never amount to anything wow. Wow. by my adopted father. So wow. sometimes you need to look at these things. That it's not even only the people outside. The person who abused me was my, my father. And for several years. So these things even tried right inside the house by the people who are supposed to give you care. Wow. And for those of us in that space, we've seen a biological father abuse their own daughters. We've yeah. seen a brother abuse his sister. Yeah. We've seen a cousin abuse. So these things even tried within the, you know, they said the enemy within. You, you These people, these enemies are even within. And that is why when these people are now being abused outside, they cannot speak. They take it as it's normal. It's a terrible situation. Mm. The other day, I went. I was on my way to somewhere. Just entered the your normal along. So inside the vehicle, there is this particular radio station I will usually listen to. So the caller said he don't want to disclose his identity, but somewhere in this Abuja, that a a child that is living with a particular woman, you know, she doesn't even he doesn't even know what this child did. But in out of annoyance, this one beat and. He beats this child so terribly that he had to pour this child in hot water on the private part. Yes. And to that extent, I felt hot. I felt this is a serious abuse because no matter what this child must have done, it should not have amounted to pouring hot water on the private child of this part. Wickedness. That's what I call wickedness. I, I, I say, yes. see, and oh, the woman was saying that this is not the first time this particular woman oh, is God. treating this child this way. No, no. And I feel like um, or, or what on earth could, could prompt this act? Mm. Because mm. definitely, if it's your child, even if when it's your child, how do you want to take it off? Okay, what, what if that, that woman did that stuff and that child does? That's it. That's all. I know. The very detail. I know. She played the devil. The is that they will repent later. So the topic is still hot, and if you have contributions to lend to this topic, please call the following lines. We have zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine zero. I take it again. Zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine zero. You can also call this number. Zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine two. I'll take it again. Zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine two. And you can also call zero eight one zero eight four four seven five one eight. Zero eight one zero eight four four seven five one eight. You can send SMS and you can send WhatsApp. 
So we were. I was yeah. telling you. <laughs> she has to, she she has to you. blame the devil. Uh, <laughs> and apart from that, really, thank God that. Because sometimes I want us to also look at practical ways to even solve this problem. Yeah. In all honesty, even if we go and ask God why this woman did it, we, may ne- we never may be able to find why she did such a yeah. wicked. Because, I mean, beating the child could be enough. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, pouring hot water and then on the private you really cannot answer that question. But we say that thank God for that neighbor or that person who took the case to that radio station. So oh, yeah. awareness has been created. And then the woman will also face the music and that child can get some help. Oh, yeah. Because people who go through abuse, especially, let's look at housemaids in Nigeria. They mm. go through terrible abuse from yeah. their madams. And in fact, when the madam's husband begins to molest them, they cannot even talk. Yeah. Because madam beats them in love. Because the madam yeah. will shut them up at every slightest. In fact, they, and this is what they do. Once your self-esteem has been tampered with, you really do not have a voice anymore. Yeah, you lose your voice. You lose your voice. So yeah. most of the time, these wicked people, we have wicked people everywhere. <laughs> and the, the word of God has actually made us to know that. But, yeah. you know, we just keep... Um, creating awareness and talking to people about how to deal with abuse because like like she was she mentioned earlier and that's what i also say that abuse are in stages you know it moves from the physical to the emotional to the sexual to the viral and then it gets to the psychological where that person is now traumatized mm. and then some of us graduated from all that <laughs> yes you know, i went through physical verbal sexual emotional psychological abuse wow. so the, the 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 landing point is the trauma you now have you carry the trauma God help you, maybe for the rest of your life, or until you are so able to get help on the yeah. rest of your life. And, and, and the point of depression. Oh, yeah. of course, depression. And, and if you're not you, careful, you bleed on the good people around oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not if you're not careful. If you're traumatized, chances are you bleed you on bleed, people around yeah. you, you know, until you find healing. Yes. That's true. I remember mm. uh, before getting married, the, a, a counselor was opportunity to be in just. My counselor said, Grace. You have a lot to heal from. I'm like, I don't see myself healing from anything. <laughs> but then when he got to know know my history, he was like, you need to heal from what your father did to you. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, my marry, get picky. Then to me, what man want to make it do. Do you understand it? Mm-hmm. And that's wrong. Yes. And that's because what my dad did. So I was beginning to see people, I said, like, what did they get? Just carry your picking. Anything where man want to. Yeah. So it took a lot of counseling. Mm. I'm not even sure I've gone through I'm not even sure I've gone yeah, through it. Yes. And a lot of people still go through such um the same thing with the sexual abuse too. When somebody's abused sexually, some of them just decide to go from one person to another mm. and just enjoy Dump. themselves. And those are consequences. Yes. So you either and become are, promiscuous yeah. or you hate men. You hate so that's why you see women who stab their husbands to death. And yeah. you know, these are for these unnecessary, are, funny, funny reasons. <laughs> that you no, you're saying it's unnecessary. No, nah, these are unnecessary mm. funny reasons. <laughs> It's very funny. I was talking about way out solutions and yeah. all of that. So yeah. trying my head to read it up. So like, what's the okay, so we can we can actually list them in a way that is practical for people to understand. So if we talk about parental abuse, child abuse, even within the home, what can a parent do to avoid the child feeling neglected? The word is love. Mm. You know, when you love and have a good relationship with your child. When you don't show them up when they want to talk to you, when you, you follow up on their progress, not just about whether they are wearing the good clothes or they are eating the good foods alone. Yeah. So when parents begin to show love genuinely, you know, that, and that's the first assignment of any parents. I mean, with all you've gone through bringing this child to the world, you definitely want to love them. A, a healthy child, you know, feels loved and by their parents and they can easily go to them. You know, another way is for people who have either dealt with abuse or who know somebody who have gone through abuse is to break the silence. You know, patriarchy and the African mentality and the African culture does not allow us to speak out about cases of abuse. That's hard, very hard. It's hard, but thank God for 2022. I feel that there's a lot of awareness. This is one of it. Mm. You know, the media has, you know, put a lot of light on these issues. Um, People are now talking about it. So people are breaking the silence culture and by that extension, breaking the stigma, Mm. you know, that comes with abuse. And then other other factors would be that um, find, you know, just like you said, some people who have been abused may need to go to therapy. They may need to get counseling. They just need to get some help yeah. so that they do not bleed on other people. 
Yeah. And then um, um, if you feel that you, if you talk to some people who are adults, because let's not look at just children alone. You know, yeah. Some adults who have gone through some sort of abuse feel that, oh, if I talk to my friend about this, she will tell other people and they'll mm. make me laugh. Yeah. 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 So and that's, it happens. Oh, it, it does. Happens. Yes. I have it does an happen. experience. I told somebody my experience and the next thing I was hearing it everywhere. My own, they use it to preach. <laughs> <laughs> it was very... It, oh, oh, my God. I, I can imagine. As I was in church that day. <laughs> And then you tell yourself, oh, I'm not going to see this. Yes, and they are closed yeah. up. Yeah. And then therapy is very expensive. <laughs> oh, in, a, in Nigeria. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's, I say it is expensive, <laughs> but it is worth it. But again, the biggest therapy is that type where you actually have with yourself and yes, with God. Yes, I, 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 I mean, when I was going through, of course, I had accepted suicide like four times, but when I was going through healing, I reached out to some therapists. I couldn't truly book the sessions because they were pricey at the time and I didn't have that much money. But I, I also remember that I spoke to some random people. I would just go on WhatsApp, pick up somebody who I hardly talked to and be ranting. And I think I was kind of blessed with some people who they knew what I was dealing with. So they would just listen I'm to me. It, yeah. But the, the breaking point was when I sat down with myself and I began to say, okay, you know what? It was not your fault. Yeah. You need to forgive yourself. And these mm. are also mm. tips. You need to forgive yourself for yeah. that yeah. thing you need to, you went through. You need to forgive even the person yeah. or the people that did it to you. Yeah. You know, just just release them from your heart and say, I forgive you. Yeah. Then, like I said, you need to seek help if you if you can. And then you just begin to talk to God. That, oh, Father, God, I went to because I think the biggest um hindrance to healing is unforgiveness. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, that's yes, the yes, biggest. Yes, that's, that's, yes, that's, yes. No matter what it is, oh, sometimes it, for me, I told myself I forgive you. And then you have a big grudge. But in, your in my heart, I knew that if I see this person, I will still strangle. Yes, <laughs> you are so heavy. Yeah. So, so I, I just let go. You know, so I went on another nine month journey of purging, of healing. So it's a mm-hmm. lot of work, and that's why I say, with healing, take your time. Nine months. You know, take your time. <laughs> That's oh, that 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 Go to therapy, yes, but sometimes if you go to therapy and you still don't tell yourself the truth. Yeah. Mm. The therapy, it just look like therapy just left to, it's just left to you, it's yes. yourself. Yes, the there's just that final decision that you need to make with yourself and with God and say, you know what, I just let it go. And then you begin to have that genuine peace. Yeah. Exactly. Because abuse, just like somebody said when I walked in, abuse is broad. It's broad. There's a lot of if you want to talk about psychological abuse now, we could talk about it all day. Yeah. If you want to talk about child abuse now, you could talk about it because there's just a lot, you know, where People go through it. We are emotional beings, first mm, of all. So yeah. these things we bottle it up. We don't know that it's just it's just like a seed. It it's keeps germinating, germinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The day it just bursts, yeah. and it's it's always dangerous. But God will help us. So, God has been helping us. <laughs> <laughs> to those listening, in, the phone lines are still on. So please call in and lend your voice to this topic. The, I'll take the numbers now: zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine zero. Again. Zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine zero, and our number you can call is zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine two. I'll take it again. Zero seven zero zero one two three seven nine nine two. Zero eight one zero eight four four seven five one eight. Zero eight one zero eight four four seven five one eight. Send in your messages and your WhatsApp message. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Is what's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm calling to say something. I want to contribute on what the other lady said. Um, sometimes lack of awareness, creating the awareness is what for me triggers child abuse. Okay, I have a neighbor mm-hmm. that I know matches her children, the children that stay with her. So one, what I did was I told her one day, I said, Madam, you have to stop treating the children like this. Mm-hmm. Else I'm going to report you mm-hmm. to human rights review. She was like, no, it's none of your business. You can't do that to me and all of that. And it got so much that what I did, I didn't report her per se, but I called the parents of the child. And today, she's no longer, the child is no longer with her. Mm-hmm. The, parents, the family took over the child. 
So what I said today, sometimes lack of awareness is the problem. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, lack of awareness is the problem. So that's my contribution. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank very, very much. That, that's said, actually that's actually a really good point. If you see something, say something. Yeah, but, you know, but so some, sometimes it could be hard for the parents may not be able to take yeah. back their child. Yeah. yeah. Well, she did her beat. I, yes. I see it. Let it brought something. Yeah, it's not during. No, we always, we always advise people to report. You, you yeah. know, sometimes ah, I don't want to let it into their business. No, but I know sometimes okay. we have another call. We okay. have another call coming in. Good morning. Please, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Engineer Femi. I greet you all this wonderful morning. Good morning, sir. We greet you too. We we have been taking notes. We are hearing you. Thank I'm you, sir. You. Thank wow, you, sir. That's fine. Where are you calling from, please? Where are you Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 I'll say this, yeah? Um, one of the fundamental mistakes people make is they think forgiveness is sudden. Forgiveness, forgiveness is an instant. No, it's not. It's a journey. Yeah. You yeah. walk through that forgiveness. You mm -hmm. keep telling you. Like if someone that gave her story, if you ask her, she must have told herself a zillion times that she has forgiven mm -hmm. and then her mind begins to accept it and then she begins to walk it and it was bold enough before she even went to meet the person mm -hmm. you know because it, it goes deep you know you start telling yourself convince yourself that you're forgiving this person yeah. and then make a bold step of actually calling the person and showing the person love to show that you're forgiving the person mm -hmm. and say when you say it, don't feel foolish because that's mm. mentality. Yeah. And, oh, you feel like, oh, don't get advantage of you and so that blah, 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 blah. You have a whole world ahead of you. Mm. It's an event that happens. Mm. Whatever the person did was an event. Mm. Whatever life you have to live, it's a journey. Mm. And yet you can't define your journey based on an event. Mm. There are many other events that have happened to you that are worse than this. Mm. Even you yourself, you have made yourself a million and one times, and then you forgive yourself and moved on. Mm. So just keep forgiving mm. and then learning from them but then show the person love to show that you are truly forgiving you can take a person out if you like and buy a gift and give the person something to actually start like a substance to the fact that truly i have forgiven the person i have let you to if you can you can send a card if you want to card. like just to re-emphasize it and all that something okay. tangible to really blow the person's mind because mm. when you send love to those that hate you, the love is them more than the hate you can have. Dr. So Femi, you are really dropping hot, hot <laughs> points here. <laughs> like, how are they going to get me? I'll say this, yeah, because of what I'm going to um, Because many times you stay unforgiving, and guess what? You lose your person. Yes, you yes, You don't become yes. an unforgiving and hateful person. Yeah. Then before you ask, before you know what, you have become a, a different person, and then the excuse is not tenable anymore. Yeah, because thank you. Are, you always had a choice. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Mm -hmm. When you forgive, you release yourself. I'm telling you. That, that, that was very profound because, you know, just like, thank God you mentioned it, that it's not like you're going to forgive somebody. Yeah. 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 And, you know, like I said, before I started the nine months journey, I had told myself a billion times, but there's just one thing I needed to correct. In forgiving, you have two options. You can forgive somebody and go back to them and look them in the eye and say, and say I forgive you. Yeah. You can also forgive somebody and yeah. still keep your distance. Yeah. Yeah. Depending yeah. Yourself. on the nature of the hurt. Uh, exactly. I'm going to be very honest. I have forgiven my adopted father who molested me for seven years. But I have, I have not gone to look at him in the face and say, Daddy, I forgive you. Because there were a lot of other things that happened in between. Yeah. But in my heart, I know I've let him go. And... But I don't have to allow him into my space anymore. And it's yes. healthy. Yes. yes. And it's yes. acceptable. Yes. Yes. So, you yes. to, yes. so there are, a, a few, you know, maybe a friend of yours who betrayed you, who lied against you, mm. who snatched your boyfriend. You know, let's come down to the <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, And then maybe eventually now got married to that person. Oh, I mean, no. you, you can, you, you truly can forgive them, but I don't think you can buy a bunch of flowers and go and give your husband who is being married. So Meanwhile, versus another person who hurt you, you know, over something less serious, serious, and you can just call yourself together and say, ah, that thing you did for me that time, then it will be good and all, and you just you know, patch up, extent, you know. So I think to the extent of the damage, yeah. yeah. Because if the first, second, third time I had attempted suicide, I had died. 
Who who would even be talking about? Who would forgive God? Who would forgive them? Who would forgive them? You will fight now. So I just say after healing, so, and then you went back to him again. Mm. Mm. So he he welcomes him, and then he brings he brings it back. Because let's look at this way: you're the one who has healed. You're the one who wants to forgive. He still knows the heart of that person. Yes, he's still a bad person. He still doesn't change who he is. Yeah, he may. Let's just put it that way: he may not have repented. So so it's two way traffic, really. You can buy a bunch of flowers <laughs> for somebody who did you wrong, but you know, don't we have an alcohol coming in. Come in. <laughs> we have an alcohol coming okay, in. Okay, I think we lost that call. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. But that, sorry. you know, that, that was just deep coming from because I just imagine myself buying a bunch of flowers. I, I, I I sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Something just occurred to me. Maybe why they say forgive and forget means forgive and forget the person. Like, you don't okay, have to we interact. Have a call. We, have we have a call. call. We have a call coming in. Good morning, sir. Okay, morning, thank you, me. Okay, quickly, I'll just say this, yeah? Um, I've been in sessions where healing taken place. And then, you know, I asked pastors and different things. I've seen people get healed. Cancer, as a matter of fact. And, you know, even science tells you that when you hold grudge and anger and then you're not expressing, there's certain chemicals that your body emits. And then it makes your sickness even worse. Yeah. But there are those ones you do when you forgive and you begin to feel excited that heals you. Mm. You know, I've I've had the situations where someone had cancer and I'll give you this real life story. Oh, and then the woman came make it brief, they sir. prayed. Yeah, it's very brief. Thank very, you, very sir. brief. They laid hands and prayed and oil and all that for we had the pastor just got a word and like, okay, fine, is it that you're holding on to do you have anybody that has done something wrong to you? He said, Yes, my father. Did this when I was a child and all that and all that. Can you just forgive this person because Christ forgave you? And the woman, yeah. it was difficult for finding the idea. And then called the father and said, Daddy, I love you. And that's all she needed to do. Guess what? Mm. She had left the church. She came back to give um, testimony. She said maybe she left and she said that it was difficult. She went to the hospital. She was completely healed. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's wow. hysteric. It's wow. hysteric. Because people want your blood and hold your spirit as well yeah. when they do certain things. Yeah. Yeah. It takes yeah. so much energy to yeah. forgive than to destroy things. Trust me on it. This yeah. is actually yeah. fine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so no, much. No, no. It's, actually, it's actually absolutely correct. We just need to understand what he's saying. Because we're not nobody has said if you forgive, you keep some past. Yeah, no. You're letting go you let it go and thoroughly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we're talking about forgiveness versus meeting the person. Mm. And telling the person, you know, we're just saying this because it's even like, what if the person has done? Guys, I have a question. And you still, you still have to forgive. Yeah, yeah. guys, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You forgive. Uh, an instance where your father wanted to use your life, like kill you. Let me use the word, the way it is. And after some years, you escaped, you ran away from the house. Yeah. And after some years, you are telling yourself you need to forgive. You go down on your knees to like, I have forgiven. Okay, then you go a step uh, as forward as okay, letting him know you forgiving him, not like going to see him maybe over the over phone call and all that. He lets go. But if this your father keeps calling you and demanding things from you like help, and you know you can actually offer those help, but you refuse to offer, please have you forgiven? No, you haven't. No, 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 you haven't. Really, no, not you at haven't. All. At that point, hey. if your father calls you and asks for things and you, you can you afford, you yes, can, you should do it absolutely. Yeah. That's even the true test of your forgiveness. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> versus, versus my own case, where the person who I have forgiven still spreads, you know, bad stuff about me. So it is now me. That is, I said, this is a very yeah, yeah, you have two ways. You, have to you don't have to. But for that person who is not asking you for something, I think you need to do it. That's the test of your own forgiveness. Mm, as long as it's within your ability. Your, exactly. If it's more than what you can do. Do what you can do. Exactly. Well, I would like that. to ask again, is he aware of the abuse he did to you? Of course. Because some parents are not aware of what they did to That's you. That's another thing. No, this one is very aware. And the first time he asked for forgiveness, I was 15 years old. I don't forget it. I was 15 years old. Okay, okay we have a call. We have a call. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. What? Good morning. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Oh, ancestor, welcome. Ancestor, welcome. Nice to have you again. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes, 
uh, personally, I want to say it is not easy for me. Especially when you know that you have done something very good to somebody and the person pays you back uh, mm -hmm. something so yeah. bad. Yeah, it is not easy. And I, the issue of mercy is for giving and for it is not for me. Mm. Except if that offense did not really wound you. Yeah. And again, that this mistake I don't want to make. If I should forgive you, yeah. because if I should forgive you, yeah. and in fact I have forgiven you, it doesn't yeah. mean I will go on repeating the same thing that God about that offense. Mm -hmm. I should try to avoid that thing. Yeah. It doesn't mean I have not forgiven you, but that particular thing or anything that I have to do with mm. um, such things, I will know that this, this is how you behave. Yeah. In some area you are poor, and that you know how to handle that area about you. Yeah. Let's say, for instance, you borrow somebody money, Sir. and the person doesn't want to pay you back. It brings a problem. After yes. After you go to make a fight or whatever, yeah. you solve it, the person pays you and begs you to forgive. Yeah. You can forgive. But knowing and accept it, you are really convinced that that person has repented. Yeah. Otherwise, if you come to again asking for money, no need giving him the money. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Really you will see, see, see results in another conflict that will result in offense. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very right. much. Right. Really, 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 really sound points you've given us. So when you forgive someone, you should also be aware of the person's weak points and know how to avoid oh, interacting yes. with those points that caused the offense initially. So yeah. We have a lot to unpack on this topic. See how we say with child abuse, and now we are seeing that there is a child in even adults that are still struggling <laughs> with the effects of abuse oh, yeah. that they had. So this is a really, really power, powerful topic. It's, it's, it, it, we can't, we can't unearth this to just today. So we'll be continuing next week. But we are going to be here next week, and we'll talk more and more on the topic. Um, do Jersey. I haven't had your voice for a while now. So yeah, but I still feel deep yeah. in my heart that every child, every human being, please always air your view. Be open. Don't stay in silence. When something happens to you, try to find someone to confide in, a responsible someone. Because most times, what actually brings that point of being traumatized is that you are keeping it to yourself. Absolutely. But when you are open, just learn to be open then to be uh find just someone break yeah, yeah. Don't, just break the silence and then teach your child you know this program we usually teach my body my body we always teach our children to always open up so it's very important let's not forget that yeah so like i said we have a lot to unpack on this like thank you Chomzi, for that we have a lot to unpack and we are so grateful for your presence mm -hmm. Barista, like, like final words uh, from you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we hope to see you some other time. So thank you very much for having me. And you know, just like you rightly said, um, abuse is so broad that you can see how we went from abuse to forgiveness, and that can also take us to mental health. Mm -hmm. Overall, it deals with our emotional, you know, part and how we deal with it. But again, my advice is to parents love their children, mm. make them your friends, bring them close, speak to them. And for the children or anybody who has gone through or who is going through abuse, confide in somebody, break the silence, just speak up about what you're dealing with and find healing. And for somebody who is dealing with unforgiveness currently, there's no other way than to let go. Again, do not rush your healing. Take your time. It takes, you know, you've been abused God knows how many years back. You've been traumatized. So we understand that you've bottled up so much. Take your time to heal, but eventually, please do heal and forgive whoever must have wronged you. Thank you very much. Can we still have ideas this morning? Two minutes. You know, it's all boys and two women. Please. What will you advise them? How do they go through this? Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm a healing and wellness coach, and what we do is, um, one of these is talk therapy. You know, going to, oh well, for now, I do it for free. Okay. Because it's a ministry I have. I'm in But of course, of course, over time we begin to chat. But you know, there's a lot of talk therapy because I can see there's something called vulnerability to wholeness. We must get mm. let's get down to the root. People don't even understand that. You know, some people carry bodies, they don't even know. Yes. They are just yes. cranky, they find fault in others, oh, they, yes. they do things that was done to, to them. them. 
So, mm. so we need to get down. Let's sit down and talk. Vent, rant. I can take you down. Harris, one, like, back next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, please. Please. I have a television to interview somewhere, but we can walk around. No, 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 no. Work out, please. Oh. So, so I do talk therapy, and then from there, we work the healing journey. Mm. And like I say, I allow you, like somebody I've been with since 2019, this is somebody I'll call on the phone and she'll tell me, you don't love me, I'll kill myself next month on the 11th, which is my birthday. Thank God we are still here, she's still alive. So wow. my, it's a journey. It's a journey. And um, you know, we share our stories. Of course, we can keep the name anonymous. But you see, when we share stories of people who are going through stuff, some people who read it or hear it know that, oh, so I'm not the only one mm. who's dealing with this. Yes. You know, and then it's right. so, difficult to come out and say it too. Yeah. <laughs> I took that bold step and I'm not regretting it. It was tough. It was tough. I got a lot of I you're talking to my mom, are you the only one? But this is me who have also worked at least over 50 people out of depression. Ooh, and, wow. yeah. and so wow. for me, it's a ministry and we keep doing it. So it's a journey, but yeah. we will all heal together. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all. That's what we have for today. Child Safe Space brought to you by the Shepherd Mentorship Foundation. Follow our social media handles and also, we there want, want to give a shout out to Radio Maria 91.3 for this platform they get. Yeah. And we also want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you. you. Yeah. We yeah. love you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, same time next week. See you. Personally.